breaking news hype up how i was treated in dss detention actor shiro italu agu said the news details veteran actor shiro italu agu says his journey to the custody of the department of state services dss did not start well he narrated that officials of the dss just still to undo his case added that he was treated with respect the actor spoke during a welcome party organized by the actors god of nigeria shiren talu was released from army custody last friday a day after he was arrested for putting on an outfit resemblance to the Biafran flag. He said, It did not start well, but God took control. I was only buying bread for the poor. Soldiers came in and started scattering things. They said they are calling me in the office, but they did not tell me my offense. Because they did not tell me my offense, I refused to follow them. That drama that took place was important, so that they will know that Igbo are here. That moment of upper Uweka to the time we got to the army barracks close to Zeke Mausoleum to the to 82 Division of the Nigeria Army and to DSS office in Abuja, nobody touched me. They treated me with respect. Every officer wanted to be involved in the case so that they can have opportunity to interact with Shirin Talu Agu. It had been earlier reported that soldiers arrested the actor around Upper Ureka Bridge in Onicha for wearing an outfit with Biafra inscriptions. Agu was reportedly on a charity mission to the less privileged when he was arrested by soldiers. The Nigerian army in a statement said that the actor was arrested while inciting members of the public and soliciting for support for the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. In a statement titled, Shiren Talu Agu, released by DSS, Ozok Om said his client argued that he had committed no known offense as he was merely wearing an attire with the rising sun and distributing 10,000 naira worth of bread he had bought to the poor and less privileged. The lawyer said his chambers took up the case after being briefed by the actor's guard of Nigeria. Unamdi Shiren Talu Agu said he was treated well while he was in the DSS detention, that the people treated him with respect. They did not touch him. They did not arm him. They treated him with respect and they took him from where he was arrested down to Abuja. None of them touched him. He was treated with respect. Many lawyers, many officers wanted to be involved in this case so that they can have the chance to speak with Shiren Talwagu because he's, an, he's a popular actor. But it was reported the soldiers arrested the actor around Upper Iweka Bridge in Odicha for wearing an outfit with Biafra inscriptions. But actor Shire Talwagu said he was only on a, a mission for the poor people. He was on charity mission to give bread to the poor and less privileged. There was just wearing an attire with the rising sun and it was distributing 10,000 naira worth of bread he had bought until some soldiers came to him and they told him that someone wants to see him. Someone is calling him in the office and they did not tell him his offense. But because they didn't tell him his offense, he decided not to follow them. Because he did not follow them, that was when the drama came up that they were trying to drag him. They dragged him into the car so that they can take him to where they are taking him to. But from where he was arrested down to Abuja, nobody touched him. They treated him with respect. But the DSS people are saying they arrested him because he was telling the public it was inciting members of the public and asking for their support for the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra and he's saying that he has no hand in the IPOP people yeah, he was just on his own charity mission nothing more, nothing less 
this is coming in when Shire Taluagu said, the earlier we split, the better. Nigeria has nothing for egos. Veteran Nollywood actor Shire Taluagu has supported the call for the breakup of Nigeria for peace to reign. Agu was arrested in Onicha and Nambu State by soldiers last week for putting on a Biafran outfit and subsequently conveyed to the Nigeria Army headquarters in Nugu. He was soon released and later rearrested by the secret police who transferred him to Abuja for further interrogations. Speaking after his release, the Nollywood actor said he was not beaten up when he was detained by the Department of State Services. According to him, his controversial outfit has no connection to Biafra. The IPOP people of Biafra, IPOP, or its, mili- or its militant arm, Eastern Security Network, ESN. The actor said the outfit represents the rising sun to mean progress from one position to a better one. However, his views about Nigerians' unity, Agu said, we all must rise. I preach that everyone should rise from their position, wherever they are, with my costume. My costume was rising sun, not Biafra. Ojoku propagated rising sun, making it as a symbol for egos, as a lack to progress. If you look at Africa, egos are on the top because of their personal efforts, not the government. The government has not done anything for the Igbo man. They strive to do better on their own. The earlier we split as a country, the better for us. The percentage of Fulani, Buhari's people in the workforce is 98%. The Igbo man has been placed on nothing. Benue is in turmoil. People are killing there, but they want Fulani headmen to continue to do their business. It is draconian. You can't force people in a big country like this. We need to rally our people from the same tribe to get a peaceful approach in this country. Shoben Talu is saying that it's better for us to split than to remain, that the Nigeria has nothing to offer the Igbos. Now, President Bomodu Burayi in his chamber has 98% of Fulani and the Igbo man has, not been, pl- has been placed on nothing. The Igbo people who are known for diligence and they are known for progress. They progress wherever they are. And they are, fight, they are making, going on with their businesses and they are making it. But the federal government, Nigeria, did not have anything to offer Igbo. As no Igbo, few Igbos are in the government firm. The, the federal government has 98% of the full landing in the chamber. Benue is in turmoil. People are killing. There are, there are a lot of killings in the state. And they want the Fulani Etmen to continue with their businesses, which is a no-no. Chiwen Talu is saying that he was treated well in the detention, that the DSS people did not touch him nor beat him. Thank you, listeners, for listening. Do have a good day and God bless you.